Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how to make your own rustic farmhouse DIY decor sign, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so for today's videos, here are the items that you are going to need for your DIY farmhouse rustic sign. So starting over here, you are going to need this large tray, this silver plastic tray from your Dollar Tree store. You're gonna need some burlap um, ribbon also from your Dollar Tree. Of course, these are my scissors. Then you're going to need these nice foam brushes. You can also get these from your Dollar Store, your Dollar Tree. And I got my little palette, my paint palette here. You may or may not need that, but I'll show you if you do need it or not. Also, I did purchase these as a separate as far as my paint goes. I got this chalkboard paint from Walmart. That was about three or four dollars for that. And um, this white paint, I don't remember how much it costs, but I know that you can purchase both of these at Walmart. These are the only two things that you need separately. And of course you guys know that I have my old glue gun here. So these are the items that you would need so far. So let's go ahead and get started. So with for this the first project. start, you are going to need your tray. This is your plastic tray here. I really love this tray because it gives it that nice little sign look, um, not ceramic, but once we're done with it, it will give it that nice little look all under on a budget. So we're going to go ahead and get our white paint. You can use this paint palette, but because of the size, I went on ahead and just poured it on there. And I just bought the palette out because some of you guys may feel like, oh, I may not need that. Or I want the palette instead so that it can be you know, a little bit more cleaner while working with this project. So just make sure that you guys are definitely wearing something that you don't mind getting paint on. So I just go ahead and start with pouring the paint directly in the center of my tray. And of course I keep it out and open because I know that I'm gonna need it again. So go ahead and do that. And what I'm gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and take this paint and I'm gonna paint the entire area with the white paint. So you're gonna continue this um, motion to paint the entire area of this tray with white and you're gonna have to do multiple coats of it and I will show you how it look at the end but as you can see this is how I'm pouring on the paint I know it looks like a lot but you want to give it that nice coat so that way it will give it that nice farmhouse rustic look to it so that's why I'm doing it this way and it looks like a lot of paint, but I promise you guys it's gonna look really nice. So the first thing that I do is I get the entire thing painted with this white paint. And then once it dries, guys, I want you to go ahead and use your chalkboard paint and you wanna only paint the inside, the circular area on the inside with the chalkboard paint and of course all the way on the outer area all on the ridges up here guys you want to make sure you get that white paint up there so just get your coats on there and just make sure you go in that circular motion I guess to give it that nice smooth look to it and like I said make sure you get all of these areas up here and then once it dries you go ahead and get your chalkboard paint and you paint the circular area on the center and I will show you how that look once it's done okay guys so this is how my finished product looked so once you let that white paint dry then you go ahead over with the black chalk chalkboard paint and you put that all over here if you guys can see so once you guys are done you see the white over here and then you have the um, black chalkboard paint you let that dry as well it doesn't take long for this project to dry so this is how I want it to look because this is going to be your canvas here when you put your sign on here you just use your regular chalk and you put whatever you want on there so also I did forget to mention that you would need one of these tray holders which I also purchased from Dollar Tree you can have the black one I do have a black one and I also have this clear one so that you can sit your tray on there like this once it's done as you guys can see 
So definitely you want to make sure you have one of these because the presentation will be much more beautiful and rustic. So this is only a dollar at your Dollar Tree. I got the large one and not the small one because this is a pretty large sign that you're going to be making. Okay, so enough for this one. Now we're going to go ahead and get your burlap. I just made this little bow here with my little bur burlap um, ribbon that you can purchase at the Dollar Tree, guys. So, of course, mine is not so pretty, but it, it, it will do for today. And I have my glue gun getting hot over there. So, I made my little bow. It's not perfect, but it that is just what is going to give it the charm. So, it's going to be quick and easy to put this on here, guys. All you're going to do is get your hot glue gun. And you're going to center it up here right at the top. You can put it right there at the top as you guys can see so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there need to add more glue please do so you can always adjust the ribbons that's on there guys then you take your nice little chalk and you write whatever you want on there and sit it on there I will show you how it looks on the finished product I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, definitely give it a thumbs up if you like this video and want to see more DIYs because I definitely do that here on this channel and I would love to have you guys so this is a very simple and cheap budget farmhouse rustic sign that you can put right there in, in your front entryway, in your kitchen. This can make a great little gift for someone, guys. Please let me know down below um, if you're going to make one for yourself as well and how would it turn out. I would love to hear your comments down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe. So let's go ahead and show you the finished product. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love your life beautifully.